गंगा तरंग रमणीय जटा कलापम गौरी निरंतर विभूषित बाम भागम नारायणो प्रिय मनंग नदापहारम वाराणसी पुरापति भज विश्वनाथम वागीशजस्व वदने लक्ष्मीजस् चक्षसी जैसे हृदय संबी निशिंगमह भजे हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे कृष्ण तदीय पद पंकजो पंजरांते अदैव मन मे विशतु मनस राजहंस प्राण प्रयाण समय कफ बात पीत्वे कंठावरोधन विद भजन कृषि कुतस्ते कृष्ण तदीय पाद पंकजो पंजरांते अदैव मे विशतु मनस राजहंस प्राण प्रयाण समय कफ बात पीत्वे कंठावरोधन विद भजन कुतस्ते गौरी गोष्ठीपति श्री शिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाक बहुपाद परमश जगत गुरु टोल दैट साम ग्रुप इन अवर सोसाइटी they are thinking about private facility and yet another group they are shouting about public facility we are neither in favor of public facility or private facility we are in favor of krishna's facility gauriya goshtipati शिशिल भक्ति सिद्धांत तो सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपात परमंस जगत गुरु से दैट मेजोरिटी ऑफ द पॉपुलेशन हेयर इन अवर सोसाइटी दे आर साउटिंग अबाउट प्राइवेट फैसिलिटी एंड इट सम अदर ग्रुप साउटिंग अबाउट पब्लिक फैसिलिटी पॉबा स्पीकिंग नाइदर वी आर इन फेवर ऑफ पब्लिक फैसिलिटी और प्राइवेट फैसिलिटी वी आर ऑलवेज इन फेवर ऑफ Sir Krishna's facility. We want to offer everything for Krishna. Krishna is the supreme enjoyer. Krishna is the supreme enjoyer, only soul enjoyer. One day, Prabhupada was speaking Hari Katha. At present, it is in Bangladesh. He was speaking Hari Katha. and param puja at kesha gushima that time he was at home he was at home vinoda was in home that time propa started speaking hari katha and speaking we can sacrifice the whole world for the service of krishna then our kesha gushima that time he was young boy he was thinking he is a sadhu how he is speaking this way eh yeah? all world he can sacrifice for the service of krishna slight a small service of krishna what is this i cannot understand he is great sadhu i heard after that miracle by the mercy of nitananda prabhu he could realize the meaning immediately could realize the meaning really so really so we can sacrifice the whole world for the service of krishna is right because this is negative world this world is negative world popad many time used to say 
this material world is a perverted reflection of the transcendental world. It is a negative world. Why negative world? Because he is, this world is arranged by Maya. This world is arranged by Maya. That's why it is negative world. Even one dust particle from Vaikuntha Jagat or Golok Vrindavan is complete, positive. Even one dust particle, then Vrindavan. It has some value. One dust particle from Vaikuntha Jagat or Golok Vrindavan, one side, an infinity material world we can put one side. That dust particle is more heavier than them. You can ask why? It's quite natural, it's a negative world, it's shadow of that Aprakita world. Shadow has no God, got no value. In mathematics we know, in mathematics we know, if we can put zero in the middle and go on writing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, this way, positive integer. The more you go positive way, the more the valuation of the integer can increase. It's quite natural, common sense. But this is not the case, it's negative way. When we put zero in the middle, positive integer, take negative integer, minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four. The more you go left hand side, the more the valuation is increasing. A uh, uh, number is increasing, valuation is discrete. Quite natural. Minus 1000 or 2001 crore is less than even zero. This is the case. It is a miracle by the because they are eternal parsat. Eternal parsat. So immediately understand. Uf, I misunderstand. Exalt a sadhu. Eternal person of Gauranga. Oh, really so? Because I heard this world is a perverted reflection of that material world. In Bhagavata Chotu Sloki Shloka, you can find one sloka. Riti Artham Jat Pratyatana Pratyatu Chatmani Tad Bidbad Atmana Mayam Jatha Vasu Jathatama. Bhagavan Sri Krishna wanted to speak to. Brahma. Brahma, in the material world, what is not at all true, it's false. It seems to be ah, very valuable. And what is true, fact, absolutely true, useless. This is the miracle of Maya, Jadu. Popad used to define Maya. Miyate Anaya Iti Maya. What is not, you are bound to believe it. What is not true, you are bound to believe. That is called Maya. Miyate Anaya Iti Maya. Bhagavan Sigisno speaking this thing to Brahmaji. Jathavasu Jathatamaha. These two terms you must realize. Jathavasa. You know little bit Bengali or Sanskrit. I think so. ABCD you know. <laughs> so Jathavasa Jathatamaha. Jathavasa means suppose I am standing at the bank of a lake, water lake. They are fine uh, that reflection of the Chandrama. They are in the water. When, when the water stands still, if one ignorant, ignorant man is there, very child, he can find two moon. One is down, one is up. He can think. One is down, one is up. But the reflection of that moon in the water, water the picture here, is not at all true. But it seems to be true. And I told, if one tree is there, tree is also there, you can find there. 
Chandrama is there. Anything there in, in the material world, what you can find in water, it seems to be the same. And not only the same, if there is a wave, if there is some wave in the water, I mean some disturbance in the water, then the moon there is vibrating. Moon there in the water, when the water is feeling some agitated, then you can find moon is... Actually this disturbance of water make you feel that moon is in vibrating condition. Actually not so. Same thing, Bhagavan speaking, your Atma, you can compare with that original moon, uncovered. And reflection of your Atma there in water. When there is some agitation in the water, you can feel the disturbance of the moon. I mean some vibration. Same thing Bhagavan speaking, your Atma, Pishachi Paili Yata Matichana, same thing. Actually, your Atma can feel disturbance like that. Originally, Atma is not feeling any disturbance. Similarly, I myself is Bhagavad Tattva. Those who are Paramahansa, they can realize Bhagavad Tattva everywhere. Their eyes is so clear. You know the sloka, Yatha Yatha Atma Parimijjata Parimijjata Asho Yatha Yatha Atma Parimijjata Asho Matpunna Gatha Sabano Vidhani Tatha Tatha Pashyati Bastu Suksham Chakshu Saiva Jatha Anjana Samprajukta It depends upon that. Those who are Paramahansa, though they are in material world, they are Paramahansa, they can understand Bhagavad Tattva, even in here. So Bhagavan speaking, Bhagavad Tattva is there, but you cannot realize. Bhagavad Tattva is there, but you cannot realize. So, Ritya Artham Jat Pratyatu Na Pratyatu Chatmani Tad Vidvad Atmana Mayam Jathavasu Jathatamana Sun God is there in the sky. There is a dense cloud in the sky, suddenly. And whole sky is covered up and almost darkness coming here. In all life we have seen solar eclipse. I can remember in a small boyhood. Miracle. In the daytime, maybe two o'clock, sun god gone, no sun god is. And all birds, they thinking that evening time they started flying in the room. Total darkness. Even birds and they cannot realize it. They think it is evening time. They are going back to their home. Actually, it is not that. Some dense cloud going to cover up that sun. If you shout and say, there is no sun at all. This is your foolishness. If you say, sun god is not there. Who told sun god is not there? Only cloud going to cover up, dense cloud going to cover up sun. No, you are wrong. Dense cloud not at all going to cover up the sun. Dense cloud going to cover up your eyes. Your eyes, not sun. How sun got power? Sun got is billions of, you know, kilometers away. At the same time, sun got is 14 lakhs time greater than our art. But it seems so. Sun God is vanished. Sun God is not there, covered up. But Sun God can never be covered up. Only by this a piece of cloud, dense cloud can cover up your eyes. That is possible. Same way, any way, anyhow, Bhagavad Tattva can never be covered up. Only Maya going to cover up your eyes. That's why you are blind. Bhagavad Tattva can never be. That's why many times Prabhupada used to say, Guru Vaishnava Bhagavan 
can reserve the right of not being exposed to your sense organ. Because you are false ego. You are approaching with your capital. Capital, no? Suppose you like to start one business. You have your original capital, sub so one lakh or fifty thousand, like that. Your capital is your mental, your material mind. Your capital is your material intellect, false ego. This is your capital. And whatever experience you have gathered up to now in this age, that is your capital. With this capital, you like to know Bhagavan, how it is possible. This is your capital. Up to now, your age, you have gathered so many experience, you think it is more than sufficient to know Supreme Lord. But this is not the case. Baba speaking, our capital is our material mind, material education, material intellect, material false ego, and some experience we have gathered up to now, that is our capital. With this capital, we express adventure to know Bhagavan. But this way, we cannot know Bhagavan. This way we can, infinite priority, you never can understand. That's why many times Prabhupada used to say, Guru, Vaishnava, Bhagavan can reserve the right of not being exposed to your sense organ. It's not possible. Is this way you cannot approach. But, Bhagavad Bhajan is very easy. So easy, that nothing in this material world is so easy like that. Fact, I am speaking fact. Hari Bhajan is so easy that nothing in this infinity world is so easy than Bhagavad Gita. But that is also typical for me. Because we have our false ego, we are not surrendered unto the lotus feet of Krishna. But Kulo Shekhar, the sloka I started, I can go in deep. Kulu Sekar crying and speaking. Krishna Todiya Pada Pankajo Panjaranto Adhahi Vimanami Vishaturaju Hangsa Prana Prayana Samai Kapapa Tupitvai Kantavaro Dhanam Vidu Bhajanam Kutosti Krishna Todiya Pada Pada Pankajanto Addaibe, Addaibe mano, mano me, Vishatu, mano saraj hamsa. He is going to compare his mind like swan in the lake. Like to take shelter of your lotus feet. No other way. My mind like to enter into your lotus feet. And now my whole life gone. At present, my last time coming. Uh, how I can? Kanta varodhanam vidho. My, I cannot speak the name of Krishna because voice is choked up at the time of death. Cannot see properly, cannot hear properly. This way, how I can do your bhajan? That is called humble attitude, very humble attitude. Actually, Krishna Bhajan is so easy. Why? Somebody can ask, why Krishna Bhajan is so easy? Narayan Bhajan is very difficult. Krishna Bhajan is very easy. Why Krishna Bhajan is so easy? Because in Chaitanya Charitamrita is written, only you need great love and affection for Krishna. Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami is writing, Sneho, sneho Seva Matra Apeksha. For Krishna Bhajan, only Krishna is going to depend, Krishna is going to watch your heart. Even you are very dirty looking, very ugly looking, no educational qualification, no money, nothing, nothing you have. But still, if Krishna can watch that your heart is very soft, very nice, sophisticated, Krishna can accept it. That's why Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami is writing that only, only your love is awaited. 
if you have love for Krishna, then everything will. Krishna don't never want any object, any offering, nothing. Only love. Even if you go through Benu, uh, Benu Gita, there you can find. Benu Gita or uh, Jugal Gita you can find. Benu Gita also I discussed long ago, four years back. There you can find even birds and beasts, they are going to love Krishna. It is written. Gomata, small calf, small calf, very small calf, drinking the milk, sucking the milk from the breast milk of mother. When the Vangshiddhani coming, then Sanupaya Kavala, with the stop drinking and going to, this is like glass, putting this and all rasa coming, this way. So, Krishna Bhajan is very easy, but we will have to depend upon Rasik Acharya, I mean great Rasik Acharya. Without Rasobodh, you cannot do. Krishna, Raso Vaisha, Raso Vaisha, Raso Evahi Ayam, Labdhanandi Bhavati. Krishna is the only source of all Rasa. In material world or in Aprakit world, wherever, whatever Ras is there, directly or indirectly, all coming from the original source, Bhagavan Sri Krishna. We know that there is Ladini Shakti, Sangvi Shakti and Sandini Shakti. Sandini. Sandini, Sangvit, Alladini. Whole world is in, run by these three. But the original Sangvi Shakti is there. Original Sandini Shakti is there. La, original Ladini Shakti is there. Ladini Shakti means Bhagavan going to give you enjoyment. Bhaktod Darek. Ladini Dare Krishna Koren Bhaktir Poshon. Chaitanya Shirtam. By the help of Ladini Shakti, Krishna is going to maintain all devotees, giving them enjoyment. Krishna giving them enjoyment. Yesterday I told, when Shakti is there inside heart, Antaranga Shakti, it is Shakti. When that Shakti is transferred into the heart of a devotee, and coming, up, coming out in the form of some activity, devotional activities, then it, it becomes so sweet. Krishna likes to taste it. Actually, Prabhupada many times told, Bhakti is the natural function of your soul. Many times Prabhupada told, Bhakti is the natural function of your soul. That doesn't mean by your personal effort you can start Bhakti. Cannot do. Bhakti is a natural function of your soul. It is originally the property is there. But it can be, it can only get exposed by the contact of a devotee. That's why it is written that Krishna Bhakti Janmamul Hai Sadhu The very root, the very root cause of Krishna Bhakti is Sadhu Why? But sometimes we hear just opposite. Nitya Siddha Krishna Prem Sadhya Gopunoy Sobanadi Shuddha Chitte Koroye Buddha Contradictory. Sometimes we are hearing. Actually, Bhakti is the natural function of your soul. It's right. I told yesterday, we never speaking that Jive Sarupai Krishna Nitya Bhakti. We never speak. We are speaking Jive Sarupai. Krishna Nitya Das. We never say Jive Sarupai Krishna Nitya Bhakta. Because Dasapta, Sarvita Sup, this quality, I mean the quality is okay, is there. But is not serving. Your servant, or uh, you can say your son, is missing for a long time. That doesn't mean 
the relationship that the father and son is missing. Son is missing. Son is missing, but the relations are not. That's why all jivas in infinite world, they are the eternal servant of Krishna. I mean, supposed to serve Krishna. They are coming from Krishna. But bhakti, this way you cannot get. Brahmando Pramita Kono Bhagavan Jeev, Guru Krishna Prasadipai Bhakti Latavi. You cannot get. Originally it is in suppressed form, secret form. And Prem is also Bhakti. Prem is also Bhakti, na? Prem Bhakti, Bhav Bhakti, Sad. It is also Bhakti. So it is right when it is written. Nitya Siddha Krishna Prem Sadhu Kupuna. Kher Prem means also Bhakti, Prem Bhakti. So it is right that Nitya Siddha Krishna Prem Sadhu Kupuna. Not that by your sadhan, by your personal effort, you can get Bhakti. Prem, this way. You will have to depend upon some pure devotee. Krishna Bhakti Rasa Bhavita Amati. Kriyatam jadi kutopila bhate, tatro mullamop, lullamopi mullamekalam, janmakoti, sukratoir, nalapyate. To Mahaprabhu also approve. So, we are never speaking, jive sarupai kishna nitto bhakti. Because bhakti can develop this way. Bhakti can develop. Now, point is that, that this ladini shakti, Originally, Ladini Shakti is there in Aprakito Jagat and the perverted reflection of that Ladini Shakti is there in the material world you can find. All love affair, hero in hearing, hero and heroine, father, mother, husband, wife, all different kind of love going on in the material world, all shadow love, not actual love. Is called the perverted reflection of that Ladini Shakti. Ladini Shakti shadow coming here, then everybody in bonded condition. Maya Devi going to arrange. Everybody love each other. Atma ba are drashtabha, satabha, nididhyashitabha. Maitre is asking to Jagavalka. Maitre is asking to Jagavalka some question that you are going to give this property to us. We can get that Supreme Lord, I mean Brahma Tattva by the help of this, this property? Oh, no, you cannot. Then why you are... Jenu Aham no, by the help of that property, I cannot get that Brahma Tattva. Then why you are going to give this property? Then Jagavalka speaking, actually you see, everybody in confusion. They think money, position, everything can give us satisfaction. But actually, Atma va are drashtabha satabha nidhi dhashtabha. Atma is there, Bhagavan is there inside. That's why we love each other. If the dead body is there, who can love? Jagavalka speaking, in relation to that Atma, in relation to that Atma, we love each other. Otherwise, a Paramatma is there. Otherwise, who can love? Whom? This is the condition. So, and Sandini Shakti, there all Aprakita Jagat build up everything all by Sandini Shakti. And here in the material world, that perverted reflection of that Shandini Shakti, so all material world you can find. Material world, all construction, anything you want, all Shandini Shakti. By the help of which this all development, all everywhere, whatever is the shadow Shandini Shakti of that. And Shambhi Shakti in Aprakiti Jagat, Aprakito Gyan, sense of relationship, everything. Yasodama going to think this is my boy. Krishna thinking is my mother, father, or any relationship, 
or any long, long list there, you know, Prakriti, all is called, is called, eh? Sang, sang, uh, actually, actually, Sandini Sangbit. Sandini Sangbit, this is. And the reflection, perverted reflection of the Sandini Shakti, eh, Sangbit Shakti, here all knowledge, whatever knowledge, science, technology, economics, his, any knowledge, all perverted reflection of that one. That arrangement is called shadow knowledge. Shadow of that. So anyway, now Bhagavan Sri Krishna giving answer to our Uddhav. Uddha, Uddhav, to Uddhav Bhagavan speaking, that my yar, my, uh, first of all speaking, adyanta vanto evaisham lokaha karma vinirmitaha dukho darka tamo nishtaha kudra manda sucharpitaha. This world, what, whatever kind of development, whatever kind of prosperity you world, all coming out from uti, uto you know, uto you know, Ten kind of thing. There, Uto is one. Follow in uh, Uto means karma bhashana. Every jiva like to do something. Every uh, atro sargo visarga shastanam pasana mutayu manantar ishanu katha nirodha mukti rasraya. The ten factors are the most vital thing. In bhajan, one is asray, centering Krishna, all infinity world is running, center one Krishna. So, utomane karma bhashana, according to your karma pal, you are feeling some inspiration to do something, good or bad. It depends upon your sanskar. So, whatever karma you are doing, going to put you into chain, bondage, but without which you cannot live. Good or bad, whatever karma, good or bad, everything jivas are doing. Maybe good, some bad, but they are bound to do. So this way, actually, Adyanta Bhantam and Adi, this material world has some starting and end. Destructible. Adyanta Bhante Vaishan. In Gita Bhagavan also speaking same thing. Adyantu bhante vaisham. Jehi sangsparsa ja bhogaha. Bhagavan speaking to Arjun. Jehi sangsparsa ja bhogaha. Dukkha jana evate. Adyantu bhante kantyo na teshu ramate bhodaha. Krishna actually those who are really intelligent. They never running behind this material enjoyment. Because they have clear idea. This enjoyment is for two minutes. Only for two minutes. Enjoyment is there, surely. Because without an enjoyment, why whole people are not mad? Enjoy, but for some and certain period. That's why Krishna was speaking to Arjun. The Arjun, actually everybody bound to run for material enjoyment. But those really intelligent, Jehi Sangsparsaya Bhogaha, all tangible facilities, all enjoyment, what is available to you by the help of your sense organ. By eyes you can see nice thing, beautiful lady. By your ear you can hear some dirty thing. Without Harikatha everything dirty. They say all sense organ can demand all and each and every sense organ can respect all their, all their respective object of enjoyment. And you are bound to supply them. Because you are in Maya. Pisachi Paili Yudha Mati You are bound to do it. You can do it. There is no other way. And Bhagavan speaking, those who are really intelligent, they can realize the ultimate consequence of the enjoyment in front of me. 
Maya Devi is going to bring some enjoyment in front of you. What is the difference between wise, wise man, Tattvavid, and ordinary man? Ordinary man cannot withdraw. Ordinary man cannot withdraw themselves. But Tattvavid Purush, whatever enjoyment, whatever facility, whatever honor, they can withdraw. They know it is useless, nothing. So, Bhagavan Sri Krishna speaking to Arjun, Adyanta Vanta Kantiyo Nautesho Ramate Buddha. Those were really intelligent, they never go. Similarly, here also Krishna speaking to Uddhav, whatever prosperity, whatever, you are busy to do some prosperity in your life, sure, in your devotional life, you like, or you are in material world, Material world, you are busy to make some profit. Everybody, those who are in service, business, or research, or any writer, or anything, always they like to do something, prosperity, to go advance. This way, the desire to do something, to, the desire to do something is originally, there you can find. But originally it is in the form of bhakti, but now bhakti is off. So they like to do something material. Originally, bhakti is there. You, mane, you are supposed to do something for Bhagavan, but not that. It is suppressed. So you are doing to do. That's why Bhagavan is speaking. Adi anto banto, adi anto banto, evo esham. Evo mane affirmative. Lokaha, all this material world. In one, one world where, or country to country where, one one country get destroyed. Baghdad was dust particle. After that again, German was destroyed totally. Again the karma vasana they made development. So it's natural. So sometime destruction, sometime construction is going on. That's why Krishna speaking. Adyantubantu evoisham lokaha karma binirmita. But ultimately, this material activities, everything you like to do, but the result is not good. Redas, result, because good, what do you mean by good? If you are doing something for your Atma, because body is not you, you can take nice prasad, ah, so nice. You are feeling satisfied, your material mind satisfied. Atma is not feeling satisfied. It is not the prasadam of Atma. Atma not eating sweet ball or paramanna. Atma eating only harikatha. Kirtan, that's. Atma is eating harikatha, but you are not giving. That's why the definition of bhakti, shavai pungsam paro dharmo yato bhakti radhakshaje ahitke apratyata jayatma su prasid. They hear clear definition. Jayatma su prasid. Mane, your Atma can get satisfaction, total satisfaction. You can feel comfortable. That means, your Atma is satisfied. Savai pung samparo dharmo yato bhakti radhakshaji ahituki apratyata. There is no cause, no reason for why. You like you are doing. You like, you love. Why? Why? There is no, there is no self-interest. That's why when Bhagavan speaking to Prahlad, you ask something. Prahlad speaking, no self-interest is there between you and me. Our relationship is very pure. You are not asking anything from me. I never ask anything. So why should I ask? But no, you ask something. I come here. I am the topmost among all benedictors. So you ask them. Then finally, Prahladma speaking, well, you are speaking in, in your honor. I am bound to ask, okay? Then Prahladma is very clever. Prahladma speaking, Kamanam hedi sangroho bhavatastu binevaram. So Prabhu, if you at all like to give some benediction, you give such benediction, so that I can never feel any karma. I mean the original all kama I like to see eradicated from my heart. So clever, bhakta. Kama nam hidi sangro bhavadastu No self-interest, nothing can 
stay in between Bhagavan and me. If there is self-interest, then it is not bhakti, pure bhakti, contaminated. So, savai pungsham paru dharmu yato bhakti radhakshaji ahituge apratihata jayatma su prasidati. Apratihata unavated. You cannot control. Bhakti running. No father can stop. Bhakti running. Who is going to stop Raghunath Das Gosai from going? Every time, all the servant of, you know, their father going to catch Raghunath. Finally, nobody can. Gopikas, any amount of bondage, all they can break. All bondage, like a mad elephant, can break the chain in which you are going to put an elephant. Mad, going to break and go run. This is called actual bhakti. This kind of akinchana bhakti. Someday before I told, surely I told you, Jashyasti bhakti bhagavati akinchana sarvaguna istatro shama sati suraha haru abhakta sakuta mano mahat guna mano rathen asato dhavata vai. Because material people, their brain is channelized into different parts. One going to here, one there, one there, all channelized. Their brain is not channelized single way, not that. Which is called in Gita Nishyatika Bhakti, Nishyatika Buddhi. Nishyatika Buddhi means one channel. But if no Nishyatika Buddhi, then different channelize. So your brain running here and there. You cannot get. Big problem over there. So when you are running different way, then you cannot get. You will have to channelize all your mind and heart, everything, all resources, all your energy, all everything internally. Education, everything. It should be channelized through one proper channel, which is called, I told this long ago, I told this, Ekayan Padhati. Through Guru Varga, you will have to do. So, Jashasti Bhakti Bhagavati Akinchana. Akinchana Bhakti means there is no interest, nothing, no self interest. Then all demigods and everybody are going to help you. But those who are material people, where from you can get, where from they can get good qualities. They have no bhakti, na? They have no bhakti. In Bhagavatam, it is written that Vipraad Disaraguna Yutat Aravinda Nabo Padaravinda Mimukha Sapacham Barishtam. Even Sapach, dog, dog eater, is far better. Dog eaters is far better than one Brahman having no devotion for Bhagavan. But a dog eater, Mad Bhakti, Bhagavan speaking, Sapakanu, Sapakanu Upi, you know, Punanti, Mane, they is going to purify. By my Bhakti, all the low caste, very useless, very useless, all tribal caste, very low caste, they can also become pure. Example is there. So many examples. Shabarima, Shabari is from Bhil, Bhil man tribal, very low caste. Shabari become very bright. Even more than Muni Rishis wanted to express some doubt, but Ramchandra proved. Guhak Chandal, Guhak Chandal is Chandal, Chandal. Chandal mean? You know Chandal? I was going to burn dead body, they Chandal. They become more and more pure than me if they have bhakti. That's why it is very important. And Bhagavan Sri was speaking to Uddhav. Uddhav, actually, those who are pure devotee, I am always running behind them. I am always running behind them. Uddhav Ji asked, why you are running behind them? 
Bhagavan speaking not, not to protect them. Uddhava asking to protect them? No, no, no. My Sudarshan will always protect them. I need not go. But I personally feel interest to run behind them. Why? Because when they are running, or dust particle coming on my body, my, in my body, all infinity brahmanda. Infinity brahmanda is all hair tips. Infinity brahmanda. So all dust particle from the lotus feet of Paramahansa, Guru Vaishnava, coming on my head and body, I like to purify the whole in, in infinity universe. That's why. That's why Bhagavan speaking, Anu Brajami Aham Puyayati Angri Renuvi. Bhagavan speaking, I am, I am running behind devotees. Why? To purify myself. To purify myself. That's why Bhagavan speaking, Anu Brajami, Anu Brajami Aham Puyayati Angri Renuvi. By dust particles. Anyway, so, Bhagavan speaking, all this material world, they are improvement, they are development, any they are, but finally, not going to give them satisfaction. Not going to feel them. You can, wa you can watch all rich men, huge amount of property, but they are not getting satisfaction. satisfaction. They are like monkey, crazy like monkey. Oh, chanchal. No bhakti there. They are not satisfied. They are thinking we can go to Saturday club, night time we can get, drink some, take some scotch and dance with some ladies and we can get enjoyment. But not that. Not that. They are not getting enjoyment. This is false. That's why Bhagavan speaking, those pure devotees, those who are going to concentrate all their mind unto my lotus feet, such kind of satisfaction, who can get? Because my lotus feet is the source of all bliss, transcendental bliss, infinity. So those who are successful to concentrate their mind unto my lotus feet, how you can compare their satisfaction with other people? How possible? Not possible. That's why speaking, mayar pita atmanaha sabbo nirapekshasya sarvataha mayat Mayatmana sukham yatat kutohashad manam. How material enjoyment, material appliances can give that kind of satisfaction? What is possible for a pure devotee to get because they are going to concentrate their mind onto my latest feet? Mayar pidatmanaha shabhu niropekshasya sarvataha. They are neutral. Neutral means they are not influenced by any Maya. Neutral means they are in neutral platform. They are not influenced by anybody. Because Maya, influence of Maya can, influence of, influence of Maya is very dangerous. So pure devotees, they are not, they are in neutral platform. Nirapekshasya. All around, where they find no attachment, no party color, nothing, they are free. Neutral person. That's why one day ago I told na, Nirapeksha na hoi le dharma na jai rakshane. Very vital quotation from Chaitanya Chaitanya. Nirapeksha na hoi le dharma na jai rakshane. Until and unless you are going to stand on neutral platform, never you can maintain general dharma. Samaj dharma, Samaj dharma, Deo dharma, Mano dharma, Sankshar dharma, nothing. You cannot, because you are not neutral. You have some partiality. So there should not be any partiality. So, <coughs> Bhagavan speaking is no speaking. Akin chanasya dantasya shantasya samachita saha maya santushta manasaha sarvaha sukha maya disha. Disha. Bhagavan speaking, akin chanasya, those who are akin chan bhakta. I already explained that day. Akinchan means the only property in your life is Krishna. No other. You, if you depend upon your bank deposit, life insurance, 
or your father can give you big amount of money, so you cannot get. Akinchan, niskinchan means solely you are going to depend upon Krishna. Whatever if Krishna like to make me beggar, I was still beggar in Vrindavan. Nobody knows this. I'm very happy. No problem. That was that time also I was satisfaction. Today also. If anybody among you, if I find qualified, I can give this asana and go away. I can go away. You, you decide who is having that kind of quality. You can allow him to sit and speak Harikatha. I can. I can take preparation to leave my body. Of course, I am taking preparation now also. So this is my... So I like to keep some representative of Prabhupada. This is my only... I know whole world can attack me. Why you are speaking this way? So many big, big letters coming. I also give answer polite way. They misunderstand me. They don't know. It is my only desire to protect the dignity of my sampradaya. Only with this idealism I am giving all my blood. If this is gone, what for I can leave? Only, the only idea. That's why I am not making any temple, not getting fun, nothing, I have no desire. Only I like to keep some representative, genuine representative, like fire. I like to see before my death, there is some representative who can speak the same, what Prabhupada told, same acharan, same. That is my, that is my desire. But whole world, they misunderstand me. They think I have some envious attitude, I have some fighting mood. But not that. Not that. Repeatedly I told, I have no desire, no enmity with anybody. But I like to establish the Siddhanta Vichara of Prabhupada. And if you find any fault with me, you speak me with polite mood, I can accept. I can try to rectify. If you find some fault, you, you speak me. I will be very happy. I can rectify him immediately. But if you unnecessarily think me enemy, it's not good. So, Akinchan means we is only depend upon the lotus feet of Krishna. Like the case of Krishna Das Kaviraj. Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami. This is called shelter taking. This is called actually what Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami. Boigun no kito kalito, poishun no brono pirito, doinar no benimogna ham si choiton no boidom asrae. I am going to, my only center is the lotus feet of Chaitanya. This should be my mood, your mood, everybody's mood. But our mood is different. This is called. So, Bhagavan speaking. Someday, if Nathananda will bless you, if you arrange this position of Akinchan, Niskinchan Bhakti, you can find the whole world is full of enjoyment. Now you can find so much problem all around. Kai valla narakai, tomorrow I can discuss. Kai valla narakai yate, tidasa pura, kasa puspayate, duddantandiyo kala sarpa patali, pratkata danstayate, vidhi mahindadishya ketayate, visham purna sukhayate, yat koruna kataksha bhaiva batam, tam kaura mevas tamo. Tomorrow I can discuss this point. So, today you try to understand this. Tomorrow I can see the mood of Prabhupada Saraswati. How sophisticated. I am tearing my head. When I can reach that position, I am tearing my head sometime. When I can reach that position, whole world is... So, akinchanasya dantasya shantasya samacheta saha maya santushta manasaha sarva sukha maya disaha. Bhagavan speaking, those who are akinchan, akinchan niskinchan, same thing. Who is akinchanasya dantasya. One Akinchan Bhaktasya for him and automatically who is Akinchan is Danta. Danta means ex external, all sense organs under control, mind, everything under control, Samo Dhamu. Samo means internal balance, internal controlling. Dhamu means external controlling of your sense organ. 
Shama and Dhamma, almost same, but this internal controlling, outside control. Only outside controlling, internal not big problem. So you see the world, you see the mood of Krishna. Krishna speaking this way. Exactly, like scientific definition. Akinchanasya, Dantasya, Shantasya, Samachetasa. And naturally, when you are Akinchan, when you are Danta, when you are Santa, Santa means Krishna Bhakta, Nishkama, Tev Santa. Then automatically you cannot find any disturbance. Automatic, it's an automatic, no? then you can develop equal sight. No enemy. You are coming from there, so I can throw you, not there. Maybe you can get more and more keep up by Guru Maharaj. You can become more and dear and near one to me. I have no partiality. Maybe you are coming from outside. But sometimes you can enjoy topmost keep up of my Guru Maharaj or Prabhupada through me, maybe. So there is no question of any partiality. So, Maya Santushta Manasaha. Uddhav, those who are satisfied with my, with me, those who are already satisfied with me, naturally you can find a whole world full of bliss. It's a, it's a technique, it's automatic, it's a technique. But when you can see the whole world in relation to Krishna, automatically, those who are pure devotees, they are going to watch each and everybody, in relation to Nityananda. Nityananda means eternal Ananda. Always they can. They have no, no dual conception there. They are always thinking. All. Anyway, tomorrow I can discuss the sloka I started with that. So, today I am going to stop here. So, Jasyasti Bhakti Bhagavati Akinchana. Sarva gunais tatru shama shati suraha haru avakta shakuto mahat gunaha mano rathena asato dhavato bahi vancha kalpatarush ki pasindu bhavish patidhanu pavanu vaishnavyo namo